said I'm geek and I'm fired up. All I want tonight, just keep hiding. Okay guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Soleil Ferrier. If you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are old here, thank you so much for being back. I know it's been a while. It's been literally like 60 days since I last recorded, but today I'm going to give y'all a life update plus do a cute little makeup routine. This is a new routine, so please bear with me. But thank y'all so much for being this channel and let's get into it. Okay, so anyways, let's get into this life update. Um, so as I can see by the beginning of the video, I did include, I did include, hold on, because what is looking for a certain, here we go. I did include my new apartment that I moved in like two months ago. I didn't move in two months ago, but I moved in like a month and a half ago. And so, um, I did include videos of that as y'all can see and this is my rating of this apartment i absolutely love 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 this apartment i love the aesthetic that i'm going for i didn't give y'all a full view of the apartment because i'm still getting like furniture and stuff like that so i'm in love with how it's coming together i love the aesthetic i'm going for the black the nude i just feel like it's just giving like i'm growing up like i'm literally getting old i am okay so this is gonna be smashbox uh photo finish that i use smooth and blur um anyway so um yeah aesthetic i'm going for is a really like calm girl aesthetic not calm but just grown up because if y'all know from the beginning of my youtube i used to have pink and gray but now i'm black and nude and i love it i love the black and nude it just gives all the right things that i'm like going for and so for my foundation, I'm going back to the OD, which is Fenty Beauty. I don't know. I was using NARS at one point. This NARS, I was using their Tahoe Medium Deep Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I didn't really like it. I also used Huda. And I think my best advice I got for Huda was to stop using it because it's more for the girlies with like the dry skin. So true. Huda is really oily for me. Personally, I don't know about y'all, but it's really oily for me um and then as far as nars go nars it just it wasn't doing it for me i feel like nars is pretty dry but um not only is it dry i used to i put too much on my hand i only wanted to do the bottom and not put it on the top i'm just gonna do a full face that wasn't the plan but whatever i'm just gonna do a full face for you guys but that wasn't the plan nars is just it, don't, it gave me for the dry, for like the oily girlies and my skin isn't really oily, but in some places it can get like a little oily and then I have to dry, which it led my face to like almost this cracking look and I didn't really like it. So I, I realized that NARS was not the foundation for me. So I just went back to Fenty because Fenty was one of the few foundations that was for me or whatever. So yeah, I just went back to what I know and I'm happy I did because I was like, dang girl, I miss you. Like, you did me so right. She really did. But anyway, so back to my life lately. Like I said, I'm moving to a new apartment. Absolutely love the apartment, love the community. I love everything about this apartment. So I moved in quickly with no hassle. I would tell y'all when I was moving, like I think that's the re another reason why I really wasn't recording. When I was moving, it was so hard for me to find an apartment. I actually found this apartment like a week before I was supposed to move out of my old apartment, which if you go apartment hunting, you know, like that's absolutely crazy because for me to get a place in a week and I should have been looking for like a month and a half, do not do that. Go look for your spot. As soon as you know, it's time for you to move the two months, three months, whatever. Go look for your spot so you can be 100% into wherever you move, you know where you're moving, you done done all your research, you done got yourself together, ready, whatever, so. Yeah, but as far as this apartment, I absolutely love it. And I can't wait till I'm done completing the look on it. I wanna put a vanity in my room. So that's the reason why I didn't show you guys the room. I have some pictures to hang up by the door and in my room. So that's another reason why I didn't show y'all that. My living room, I still need a coffee table and some lamps in there i need a lamp or two maybe some wall lamps or whatever 
And then for my kitchen, I have some bar stools I'm ordering. And then um, just a few knickknacks to go in the kitchen. As far as my bathroom, I wanted to order, which is this is probably crazy to say, but I wanted to order a, a towel warmer. So if you have a towel warmer, let me know how that is because your girl didn't really want to order a towel warmer, but I'm just like, dang, should I order one or should I just like not even be that type of girl? By Mario, my contour. I've been using this for a little minute now. I like it. You know, um, originally I used to use LA Pro Girl Concealer. That is like my holy grail. I will not use the story, but this right here, it does something for me. I love it. So that's what I've been using for the last like mm, couple months, like maybe six months. So I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. But yeah, so for everyone out there, happy 4th of July. I forgot today, I am recording on 4th of July. As you could tell, I probably put the date somewhere on the video. But I am recording on 4th of July. So as y'all can see, this is how my life is lately. I am recording on 4th of July for you guys. Because as soon as I'm done, I'm taking this makeup off. But I just want to come and have a girl time with y'all. So next thing on my topic list to talk to you guys about... A couple, maybe like last week sometime, um, like Thursday or Friday, I had a conversation <clears throat> with one of my friends. This is a new friend. And so the conversation ended up in us talking about how when you basically have like these manifestations, these ideas, you know, you want to be alive, like, and you just talk that for your life and you just talk that into your life and how everything kind of works out for us. Now... I've already had the conversation with y'all about like being girly and just like, you know, manifesting and just wanting positive things. But the at the caliber that it is for me, it's like so high, like to the point where if like this apartment, I wrote this apartment down in my notebook and was like, I want to be here for my apartment and the fact that that worked out for me. And, you know, other things that I wrote down obviously worked out for me, huh? Ooh, like don't get me wrong a lot of things that i put in that notebook like it worked out for me but just in specific just to be very like just clear of what i mean i pray i didn't pray for this apartment i wrote down this apartment i knew i was going to be in this apartment and that's what happened to me for me in a week so outside of that i'm saying like we had this conversation about how we just put it in the air put it in the universe talk to god about it and it usually works out for us so that night i came home and I went to sleep. But the next day, I was like, you know what? I know where I want to be at in six months, which six months from June was like, um, I think it was like June 29th or something. But six months from now is December. And so I'm like, you know what? Like in December, I want to be here, 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 and here. And so I wrote it down. I listened to my manifestations. She, she, um, she recommended this book and I think I believe the name of it was Secrets or something like that. But um I'm gonna link it below or put it in the bio below. But I listened to the audiobook on YouTube and y'all when I tell y'all I was so into like just me, I put my phone on do not disturb and I just focused on listening to that and I listened to that until it was time for me to go to sleep. So when I was finally going to sleep, I ended up taking my notebook. Cause I was like, you know what? I need to, like, I need to really manifest and I need to pray real quick. So I took my notebook and in that notebook, I literally wrote two long pages about where I want to be at in life. Two huge pages about where I want to be at in life. And I just was so in depth with it. And I just was like, whatever path you give me, God, like whatever path my angels and God put out for me, that's the path I'm going to go. I'm like, I don't care. If I kick, punch, fight, I'm so upset this person on my life. I'm so upset that this, you know, went that way or whatever the case may be. I'm like, whatever that path is, I'm going to go that path. And so that the next day I end up having a day at work that was just really awkward because I had two jobs. But I had a day at work that was really awkward and it was like different from the rest of the days. I don't know. I don't know, just something new for me. And I'm just like, mm, interesting. Um, that color I just used is light tan, by the way, if anybody is wondering what that is, Pro Girl Concealer. And I'm gonna spray some more on there so I can set in. But anyway, so very awkward day. 
y'all very awkward day i don't know that's usually not my type of day and it was very awkward it was a weird day all around anyways to move forward the next day i'm like hmm after a day like that i usually call up to work to be like hey you know do i have any am i in trouble or anything like that like am i good so i call up there to make sure everything was a spoon coon, everything was kosher and apparently i'm suspended fired whatever whatever happens happens and so at first old me don't get me wrong old me would have been like oh my god what the heck like what happened like what's going on but i don't know why something overcame me and it was just like it's my time like it's literally my time and a part of one of the things that i wrote in my journal i was just like it's my time to like focus refocus back on what i wanted to do in life right and so um i ended up meeting with my manager that following monday and he's like yeah you're suspended for six months and so it just clicked and I'm like, I'm literally asking God to put me to be in a certain position in six months. So I put it, I put that I don't want in six months. I just want to be in another point in my life. And so I just felt like that was God saying, like, you told me in six months, you want to be somewhere different. Six, six months starts now. Not going to lie, like immediately. You know what? I'm not mad about getting suspended. I'm not mad about that situation. God has blessed me in many ways. He blessed me with the ability to save and do everything that I've been doing in life. So when I got that information, I said, you know what? Cool. Wash my hands. I'm fine. I will exit the premises and y'all won't be seeing me in here ever again, for real. So it's just like, I'm low-key thankful for that because I don't know if in six months I really would have left that job. You know what I'm saying? So... That is something that I feel like is a huge impact on my life lately because that's a job I've been working for for a very long time, like literally two years, y'all, like a long time. And so for me to lose it, I'm just like, wow, like that became a part of just who I, my daily, you know, my daily day, like that just became a part of who I am daily. And for me to lose it, it's just like, okay, girl, now it's time for you to grow up. It's time for you to you know, handle your business. It's time for you to do your do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of of life lately as far as where my head is at when it comes to work and when it comes to like my job and things of that nature. Because that literally shocked me. But as far as where when I speak to God, like I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I've been trying to speak to God more and I've been trying to make sure I thank him for all that he has done for me. Because that's huge. Becoming a girly that understands like where you at in life is not just because of you. It's because of the people watching over you. It's because of, you know, you believing in yourself and you having faith in and higher power to get you where you want to be at. So, girl, I'm telling y'all, I was like, old me would have been crying. Old me would have been like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I don't have no job. I don't know what to do. Da, 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 da. But new me is just like, oh, girl, that's just a part of the plan. Like, you'll be all right. Move forward. Like, it's okay. I think I was more hurt at how it turned out because it was just a crazy ordeal that I did feel targeted. But besides that, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, you got to let things go. And that's just one of the things that I'm letting go. So the Nikki comes in. They said, are you a, you a Nikki fan? I am a huge Nikki fan, y'all. And I'm going to include some videos at the end of this um, so you guys can see at the Nikki concert or whatever. And, of course, I have to include that in my life update because I'm a Nikki fan. So, what? Like, of course. Um, so, anyways, as y'all know, Nikki had a concert, I believe, in May. She was in Houston. And it was so funny because I was posting Nikki all day, every day. I'm talking about... I'm putting Nikki on every video that I post on my Instagram. I'm like, you know, Nikki this, Nikki that. I'm so excited for Nikki to come out to Houston. So I told my baby sister, well, she's really not a baby. She's 16 years old. But I'm like, hey, we're going to go to the Nikki concert. Ooh, and, you know, we're going to have a good time. So my sister's like, okay, like, that's cool, whatever. But mind you, I'm more of a Nikki fan. <laughs> I'm more of a Nikki fan than my baby sister. So my sister's just like, not really too excited about it. But she's like, okay, I'm gonna go because I know she really want to go. And she don't want to go alone. 
And so, y'all, it was time for the Nikki concert to come. And I'm telling y'all, my sister didn't have no excitement. But I didn't blame her because I'm like, I'm forcing her to do this. Like, she's really not a Nikki fan. This is the Tarte, by the way. I've been using Pro Concealer and Tarte. I don't know why, but I probably just need to use Tarte. But the Tarte is kind of pretty light. But when I put on my powder and my contour, it kind of like contrasts out. But yeah, I use both. Um, anyway, so anyways, she was, she's really not a Nikki fan. I am. So when I told her like, Hey, we're about to get these tickets. Like I'm excited, but I was going to pay for the tickets. Of course, you know, like I'm going to pay for the tickets. She wasn't like, yay. Like, you know, she was like, okay. Like, you know, you want to go see Nikki. Not me. Remember that. And I'm just like, oh, like I'm literally forcing her to go see Nikki and I could just tell like I'm forcing her to go see Nikki and it just really wouldn't have been like as fun as the experience as going like with a Nikki fan because I love my sister if she was texting me like hey I really want to go see Nikki I really want to go see Nikki like of course I would have been like okay like let's go but she wasn't <laughs> too excited y'all she was like literally like okay yay Nikki like that's your favorite artist cool but anyway so Nikki came in Houston and we ended up not going to Houston because again I really didn't have anyone to go with and my sister really wasn't a Nikki fan so I wasn't gonna force her to go but in the end um I had a friend message me and was like hey if you want to go to the Nikki concert pick a friend like bring your friend and y'all can go and Nikki had a, her last concert was in OKC on like that Monday or something so I'm like, okay, well, Nikki's in OKC on Monday. Like, I want to go. And so basically got the tickets and got better tickets than what I would have bought because it was floor seat tickets. I probably would have bought close to the floor, but not floor seat tickets. And so I'm just literally beyond excited, beyond happy to go and see Nicki Minaj, y'all. And as soon as we pull up to the concert, it was just like so amazing. The vibes was there. The, everything was just, oh, uh, it was like, I am literally truly a Nikki fan. The vibes was there, Nikki. Congratulations. Shout out to her because everyone was complaining. Everyone was complaining about her. Um, what are they complaining about? About her tour in Houston. And baby, let me tell you something. Everyone was like, yeah, she barely performed. She had everybody come out and perform. Da, 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 da. Okay, see, baby, she performed her butt off. And she performed every single song for like two, three hours. She was performing. So I'm just like, I don't know what y'all experienced in Houston. I don't know if it was because it was her last tour. But baby, she went crazy. And I loved every last bit of it. Ate it up. Ate that thing up, girl. I'm like, bro, I literally love it here. This is my favorite thing to do. Like, no. I was happy. So, anyways, um, I'm going to include some videos of that because, y'all, when I tell you, it was an amazing experience. As soon as I was walking in, she had one of my favorite songs playing. Like, we arrived as soon as she was getting on stage. So, we were running in there, and it was one of my favorite songs she started off with. So, I can't even complain. My favorite uh, concert, 10 out of 10, and I've been to quite a few. I would never look back and regret that concert. Okay? And then for the people at OKC... Baby, OKC is such a nice place. Like, I personally wouldn't move there. Like, I wouldn't stay there. But they were so nice in OKC. Like, they were so sweet. Everyone was really, really sweet. Everyone was really, really sweet. And I'm just so happy about that because I love sweet people. I love when people are really nice. I love when people are, like, just amazing i love when people just are really sweet and nice and amazing so for the powder i'm using loria marcia i'm using the golden one i usually use the lighter one but because i've been getting a little darker um not only for the summer i think period with age i'm starting to get a little darker so i'm starting to use darker makeup um i'm using the golden one instead of the lighter one or whatever so it works out for me i'm patting it in i usually used to put like the powder on there and just like how I did down here. I used to do it up here, but I stopped doing that. I realized it was too much powder and it don't really seep into like 
the makeup and do what I need to do. So now I'm just changing it up. And for my girls who's using Huda, Huda Beauty, whatever, using that and your face is already be getting oily, stop using that girl because it took me months to figure it out when I'm working and wondering why later on my note, I'm sweated out, like I'm looking crazy. And it's just because Huda is not for the girls that's oily. They're not. If you're an oily girl and you really like need something to dry you up, it's going to probably be NARS for you. It's not going to be Huda at all. Huda is not going to do it for you. I will be the one to tell you. It's not going to do it. Um, But anyways, yeah. Let's get on the next topic while this is seeping into my pores. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all about this because I might as well y'all going to see it over the course of time. So, I don't know. If you know me personally, you know I usually do like my own quick weaves i usually do like my own sew-ins i usually do my sister hair she likes to have um sew-ins and things um and just things like that so i say you know what i actually find joy in doing like a nice little quick weave and it's real sleek real slick and it just looks good so i'm like why not start doing it for the girly so i am about to pick up a new trade of um just doing quick weaves um sew-ins and like um uh, learning how to do tapings and stuff like that so when you guys see that post please show some love you know i'm gonna be training for myself for a little bit just because i want to make sure i perfect it before i just mess with you guys here but once that come out maybe i'll probably start doing it like seriously for real and maybe like um september so once you guys see that please like in let me know and i'll love to like do one of you guys' hair or a few you hair or whatever the case may be. But I'm really excited about doing that just because everyone always told me I need to start doing hair. But I was just a lazy little bug. I didn't have the patience. But now I'm like, you know, I'm 25. Why not go and just do something fun? Like, why not do something, do a new trade, like try it out, see how I like it, and then move on from there. If I like it, stick with it. If not, like I did it, I can say I did it instead of saying no from being like lazy or whatever. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully, maybe so. Maybe I'll love it and it just becomes a part of my daily regimen. But yeah, that's one thing. Another thing is I am getting back to my clothing business. Y'all know that my clothing business, well, if you know me, know me. I was really big with my clothing business years ago. I stopped doing it because I just had life hit me and I needed to focus on everything that was going on in my life. But now that I'm starting to like refocus, get back on track, I do want to get back to my business. Um, if you guys don't know, I did have a clothing business. And it wasn't like a boutique or anything. It was more of like, I wanted to redo it, revamp it to be more of um, workout clothing and um, like underwear, shirts and stuff like that. So I'll come out with that pretty soon. Just getting back to that. And then we're going to rock out. So I really have a vision of where I want to be in six months. I have to really, really, really hold myself accountable to posting more and posting um, it's so hard for me, but I'm going to hold myself accountable and get it done and just break out of this lazy funk I've been in for like the past, <laughs> for like the past like year and a half. I've been like in a, such a lazy funk, haven't been wanting to work, haven't been wanting to be do doing nothing, but now I got to get up out of that because ain't nobody going to help me get to where I want to go. Well, ain't nobody going to get me to where I need to go. I got to get locked in so that's kind of how i'm looking at it honestly that's really it that's kind of where my life has been at my love life y'all y'all know i actually okay so funny story i actually recorded another one of these videos and just talking about like my love life and um i was talking about my love life and basically where I see myself right now with my love life and y'all it was so funny because I'm like you know it's so crazy when I posted that video I just wanted to be not really wanted to be but I just see myself like 
being such a sweetie in a relationship and things like that and just but now i just see myself focusing on me like i'm not really into that right now anymore because i feel like i have to get me right first you know i do my eyelashes because i need my nose to be contoured really well today i don't know why the good contoured nose and i'll swap it away later before i spray mm -hmm. before i spray i'll swap it away into the lid let me keep it right there i think i'll ask i'm gonna talk to you guys about really that's it i that's i've really just been on my p's and q's on my grind but i will be recording pretty soon um, I think I'm going to be recording tomorrow too. I need to start doing my weekly vlogs and then just go from there because girl, we got a lot to do. We have a lot of space to make up. We have a lot of face to make up. We have a lot of thing to do and I will not abandon y'all anymore. 60 days is crazy. I can't even imagine what I was really doing for 60 days. Okay, while that is cooking, we're going to put on my eyelashes. And some more lip gloss. Some not lip gloss, some more lip. Because I'll, I'll. I really need to buy some more of this. This lasted me a long time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm so excited for y'all to see this. Y'all, when I was walking in, she was like, what the they gonna say? And I listened to that. I was like, uh, it's just. I'm a Nicki fan. I love me some Nicki. Like, I barely listen to like rap for real, for real. But when it comes to Nicki, what? How can you not listen to Nicki? Like, come on, girl. How can you not? Like, when you were younger, like you ain't never was a bar. Like, come on. And you know what? During her concert, she was like, man, like, well, she could, you know, that could be fake sometimes. Like, I don't care. But she was like, man, like, I watched y'all. Not even watch. She was like, man, like, I can't believe we, like, I, I like, like, not, see, like, not, like, for real. But she was just like, I watched y'all grow up. She was like, you know, in my songs, I told y'all to be the baddest or, you know, to go and do whatever with your life. Like, don't let no hair stop you and if you got haters like make them mad like you know she's just like the fact that this crowd that crowd is now grown-ups like y'all are not adults y'all are now like doing your own thing y'all are now entrepreneurs graduating college she's just like so proud of y'all and oh my god like how can you not be a bar everybody loved at least one nikki verse growing up everybody had to i mean they probably didn't but still I'm just like, bruh, the fact that she's like, starting out rapping, we were her crowd and we're grownups now. Like, she's just like, wow, I cannot believe this. Like, y'all are adults, y'all are grownups, y'all are doing y'all thing. I always do this all right. I always, look at this. Oh, How do, why do I always do that? every time but we gonna redo this we're gonna select because it's always this right here like let me see no it's too different it looked too different like it ain't never i gotta take it off like this i always just flow this i never flow like that hopefully it comes out correctly And at the top is lonely. What the thing I'm saying? What the thing I'm saying? Let's get right on the money, please. Is it right on the money? This is why girl, the girlies get their lashes done. 
because of stuff like this because they don't like to yes right on me but that was just so hard for me it's like the placement you could really look crazy if you place your eyelashes on completely different like you could really be out here looking crazy just and not even know it you think you look fly meanwhile your lashes look crazy shut up Shut up, lay on it. Shut up, lay on it. Know what I'm saying? And now we're about to spray our face. And y'all know I'm going to use, y'all know I'm going to use my all-nighter spray. Ulta had these. Buy one, get one free. Mm -hmm. Balling on the budget. Buy one, get one. Please. I better go grab y'all one. Y'all know them things can get hot real quick, real fast. All right. Now, I never show y'all my blush because it's a little ratchet. We just gonna, we just gonna blush it up. We just gonna use it. We ain't even showing y'all nothing because it's strong. Mm -mm. Y'all gonna be like, what the heck? And then I'm gonna have to explain to y'all why my blush look like that. So y'all can talk about me in these comments. Just me. Mm -mm. Amen. Okay, guys, now that I'm finished with my makeup, I'm about to do my hair, but I would not be recording that because this is not a full-blown get ready with me. Guys, thank y'all so much for being part of this. I love y'all so much. To my old subscribers, to my new subscribers, thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video.